Hi, it's Diane, and this is my vlog called Cuba Cafon. It's a revolt against social media because we see everyone's great life on social media and we think, gosh, our life doesn't seem as great as that. But that's because all you're seeing is the highlight reel, and I'm showing the flip side to the things that we see on social media. And let's take an example. Today is the flip side of all of the classes my kids are taking this summer that I'm really proud of. I'm the one that sought them out, found things they were interested in, but the downside, the Cuba Cafon, yeah, there it is right there in the garage. Ugh, I'm going to be spending all day in the van. And that's the problem. I'm not getting anything done that I need to get done. I'm self-employed, I work from home, but how can I get any work done? When I'm running here, there, and everywhere, I just got a text from a friend. She said, just hearing about your life stresses me out. It's not stressful. It's just frustrating. I'm overwhelmed. Yes. Is that why I'm reading this book? Actually, I just finished it. I want to feel like I'm not the only one who's overwhelmed. Yes. Bridget Schulte, she's overwhelmed too. I read the whole book. At least I know I'm not the only one. So at least I usually get in my bike ride. That's really important to me, and I got that in this morning. There's my bike. Yes, I used it today. Okay, and then the next thing I had to do, get my son up. He's got class. He's taking a computer class, so he had to get up and uh, leave about 11.30. There's his computer programming work that he's doing. And then the next person that had to get up, okay, I have a little bit of time in between um, after the bike ride and before taking my daughter to her cooking class. But, you know, it's not easy to work on an article when you know you got about 20 minutes before you have to leave again. So why is she taking a cooking class? She loves to cook. As a matter of fact, I had to devote uh, a couple cabinets in the kitchen to her baking stuff because it was shoved in the back because I'm not really into baking. But now it's all right here where she can reach it. And she took a film class, a creative writing class, and an art class. There's her artwork I'm really proud of. But then she had to go to the cooking class. And after I took her to that, then I had to drop off some supplies for work. And then after that, I had to go um, pick up the mail at the P.O. box for my other business. And then after that, I have to go back and get my son because his class is ending. And he's actually got to be back early because he made a commitment to mow a couple lawns in the neighborhood. That's his summer job. So there's the lawnmower, and he's going to get that done, but it will cause me an extra trip because I can't pick my daughter up on the way home. I have to bring him home first so he can get to the neighbors in time and then bring her home. And then once she's home, she'll have a little bit of time before she's got to grab her flag and go to color guard. And I hope to have enough time to give them both something to eat. And when I take her to color guard at 530, I've got to come back and take him to Drumline at 6.30, the same place. Can't they start at the same time? I know now I sound like I'm just complaining, but I'm, I'm frustrated that in and out, in and out, all day long, there's the drum, that I'm not getting the work done that I need to, that I want to. My career's been on hold, yeah, for quite a while. And I get frustrated when I don't get much done in a day, but I realize that this is the choice that I made. I could have found a camp for them from 9 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon at the YMCA, bring them both to the same place, have them there instead of on the couch, because I just couldn't stand the idea of them on the couch, on electronics, all summer long, every day, and that's exactly what they do if I didn't sign them up for something. But I actually went and found stuff that I knew they would care about, that they really wanted to do. And so it keeps me from doing what I want to do. So I'm proud of them, but frustrated and overwhelmed and out of breath. But I guess I did it to myself. 